All right, second video, we're gonna look at number 35, and then I thought 39 was another good one because it had a minus sign and some leading coefficients. So, uh, 35 I probably even shouldn't go over because the answer key is gonna do it most of the justice, but when you are adding two logs together, and I know these are two natural logs, but logs, natural logs, same thing, just a different base. Right, natural logs is just a log with a base that's special. It's a base of E. So uh, when you're adding two identical logs like that together, we can condense that into just one log. And we do that by taking the two numbers that are, um, that are being taken by the log or the natural log, and we either divide them by each other in the same order or we multiply them by each other in the order they're written. So because we're adding the two together, we would multiply three and 10 to get 30. So the condensed version of that expression would just be the natural log of 30, and that's your final answer. No need to type it into your calculator or anything. Um, if that plus sign was a minus sign, then we would have divided three divided by 10, and it would have been the natural log of 0.3 instead. So similarly, we have, we have that going on in number 39 with a minus sign, but there's an extra step um, we want to take care of before that. And that's that there's a 3 in front of the natural log of A, and there's a 3 in front of the natural log of B. Um, and because we have a log in the problem, or in this case a natural log, same difference, we can apply what's called the power property, which, which lets us move exponents down to the front or from the front back up. It works in both directions. So I'll put an arrow that goes both ways to show that it's bidirectional. So our first step here, either mentally or actually to write it down, would be to kick both of those threes up. So now they're attached to what's called the argument, that part of the um, term or each term and then we would go ahead and apply that quotient rule um, but in reverse we would condense this into one natural log and take the quotient of the two arguments that are there so we'd have the natural log of a cubed divided by b cubed and that would be an acceptable final answer or if you wanted to make that a little prettier you could say that's the natural log of a over b quantity cubed. Um, same thing. So there you have it.